What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Tia, and I am back with another video. And today's video, I'm going to be talking about um, our future, the children of this generation and of tomorrow. Now, this is educational-wise. This is not in life. Uh, well, it's somewhat in life, but it's more, more geared towards their education um and i feel as though and this is in regards to parenting of today um this generation in parenting so i'm not saying all parents are like that there are some parents that that do the old school way because their parents taught them well but there are some parents of today that are that's that just sucks their parenting sucks and it shows in their kids and what I'm saying is, um, and they don't, they don't, they don't realize that they're failing their children's future, their education, period, because they are so dependent on other things to other other things and other people to do their job for them. Now, for example, what I'm saying is, I worked in the school system. For eight year, for seven years before I left, and did some and, and transitioned to another um, job, and it's and it's it's it still exists at this job um, as well, um, and I just feel a whole shift. I remember when I was in school, education wasn't this is not the same as it is t today you can't the kid the teachers aren't even i'm you know what that's another video which i probably might um update i mean upload today as well but i'm going to talk about strictly the parents okay so parents of today they don't work most parents of today don't work with their children when it comes to their homework teachers give them homework to do and this is not only just to give them something to do, it's also to um, help the parents to engage with their children. It's also to help the children to never forget what they learn in the school in, in class. Because if you're not if you're not extending that education at home, how do you think the child is going to um, grasp what they're learning in school? If they're not even if they're not even um, working on their whatever they're working on at school at home that's why it's called homework it's not just to give a child something to do it's to extend their education so they can become more in tune with what's going on in the classroom so they can succeed period but you got parents some parents that are lazy and think that it's just the teacher's job to do the work to teach their children how to learn to teach their children um to be successful they are 50%, it's, no, it's not even 50%. Well, yeah, I'm going to say it's 50% of the teacher, 40% of the, the parent, and like 10% of the child. Why I say 10% of the child? Because the child has to want to learn, period. They have to want to do it. 40% of the, of the parent, the, um, of the parent because the parent has to instill that in them. They have to work with them. They have they know their child more better than the teacher because that's their child. So they should know how the child learns. What and you and as a parent, engaging is everything. A child looks up to that's the first person they look up to in life is their parent. And if they see that you are engaging with them and that they want you to learn they, and they will be inspired to learn, to learn more because they see that spark in their, their parents' eyes. Oh, my parent really wants, wants me to be, to do well in school. So I want to, I want to show my parent that I can do this. I can do that. If you show initiative in their education, they will show initiative in their education because you are the first one that they see as an inspiration. They look up to you. So if you don't show that, if you don't show that initiative in their 
and their um, education. What do you think? Do you they you think they gonna wanna um sh show initiative? If you don't show that you care, they're not gonna know. They're not gonna care. They're not gonna know how to care. A teacher can instill that in them too, but that's that's just but but they're at home. I mean that's fine and everything, and that sometimes that that does work. But once they at home. It's like everything that they learn and everything that the teacher instilled in them erased because they now stepped into another zone when they walk through those um, front doors in their home. Especially if a parent is not engaged with them and not even caring two cents about their their um, education. Now, there are some parents that work really hard, you know, work at night and, you know, trying to make ends meet and they may not have time or the patience, but that's the part of parenting. Parenting is not an easy job. You have to, some, you just have to make sacrifices. I understand you're trying to make ends meet and you're trying to like make money, but you also have a child to take care of as well, mentally and emotionally, not only financially, but you can't neglect the rest of the stuff. Like, if you can invest in buying them clothes and shoes, then you, you can invest in their education, meaning not only depend on the teacher to do to teach your child, but you have to extend that education to them in order for them to 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 make it natural and to make it a custom in their life. Because once they step out of those school doors and you don't instill that that um extending education in their lives at home. Sorry about the crust. I just woke up. Then they're not going to, they're going to forget. They're going to forget. They're not going to really care. And it's going to go in one ear and out the other. That's why a lot of kids forget over the summer breaks and over the breaks because you have parents of today that don't really work with their children. All they do is once they finish school, they send them somewhere else. Once they finish school in the, during the school year, they send them to see either summer school or um, summer camp. That's fine and dandy that you want them to have extracurricular activities. But is that the real reason why you want them to, why you put them in those programs? Or are you just doing it to get them off your back? I'm not saying all parents are like that. There are a lot that are like that. And I feel as though you're setting them up for failure if you're doing that. I feel as though, and I'm not a parent, but I, but I've, I am, uh, I have, I'm work, I've worked for children for so many years, and I've seen the decline because these parents aren't. Some of these parents are not working diligently with their children. They just depend on solely the teacher, and it's not all. It's not the teacher is not 100 percent. Um, responsible of your child's education. They're partly responsible. You are the you you're basically the finishing product of it. And then the child has a small portion of it by wanting to want to learn. But you have to instill that you have to continue. You need to I mean you need to ask your child, what did you learn today in school? And then have and then work with your child with whatever he or she learned in school. You need to be instilling that extended education to them, whether it's whatever they're working with, whether it's um, working with them in homework, reading to them every night before they go to sleep, because statistics show that children expand their vocabulary and um, thinking, critical thinking skills. If you read to them every night before you go to, before they go to sleep and while they're in the womb and have them read um, a book every night, whether they picture walking, depending on their age, it instills advanced vocabulary and critical thinking skills. I mean, come on now. It or as simple as working on their ABCs and one, two, threes, fifteen minutes to to thirty minutes a day. It's that's that's in, that's instilling the education. That's that's um extending their education. And if they're if they're in higher grades, then you you know practice do like some type of fun games on with them that that coincide with what they're learning in school and make it fun you can youtube those things google those things like that's how you invest in your child's extending education to be better students better people better thinkers and successors 
I'm just saying. You, I mean, like some of these parents of today need to get out of their habit that teachers are the responsible for their child's education 100% because that's not true. You're going to set your child up for failure if you think that way. Homework is not just for something to do. It's, to, it's, to, it's an extension, and it's your job to have um, some creative ideas to make education fun at home. Now, I'm not saying bore them with education all day, but at least an hour out of your day at home and extend that education to them so they will not forget and so they will continue to want to learn more and be experts in whatever they are working on in school. That's how students get good grades. That's how students have great minds. It starts at home. It starts at home. If you instill that in them from the beginning, from out of the womb, from in the womb, reading to them while they're in the womb, and, and continuing to instill some educational activities and stuff with them while they're growing up, they will become amazing individuals. But you can't be lazy and thinking that it's all, all up to the teachers. No. They are part of it. You're the other half of it. The child has a small percentage of it. Like, I mean, back in the day when I was a student, Parents, our parents instill that education in us when we get home. They didn't play no games. They did not play no games. They they made sure we get our homework done. They worked with us. They worked with they they made us do a, a little bit of um educational activity over the weekend before we get to do anything fun. We had to work. We had to make sure whether it's whether it's remembering our our timetables, whether it's um working, and they don't and like I said, parents, my parents, and parents of my generation, they had us. They bought us handwriting books, math math workbooks, the little um laptop things that had the. The, the math activities and the literacy activities that today is leapfrog, but that's not what it was called when we were um, young. And we had to work on that stuff at least an hour a day. These parents don't even invent. They, they, they just put this, they just put their child, um, slap a, a iPad in their lap and let them go ahead at it for all, as long as they, you know, as long as they can. Kids don't even go outside anymore. Like it's just, this generation is just, it's just, a, it's just, it's just a failure. It's to me, it's a failure. It's a, re a recipe for disaster. But I'm just saying, you know, parents, please stop depending on the teacher 100% on your child's education. You have to be, in, you have to instill that in them at home. It starts from home. It's not that it's not that hard. it may be hard to some that's working, but this is what that's what is called sacrificing. Nothing in the, in life is easy, and I'm still working on that as well. Nothing in life is easy. You just have to. You have to. That's the only way you're gonna see an improvement in your child's education in your child's life. You wondering why? Why is my child um, not working well in school? Why is my child getting good, bad grades? Why is, is it you? And then they always blame the teacher. It's not the teacher. It's not. Well, then some. There are some some teachers that that are getting by, you know, just getting by. But most of the time, it's not the teachers. It starts from home. If you're not working with them at home, then how are they going to retain anything from what they learn in school? That's not. It's not. It has to, home and school has to coincide with each other. I'm just saying, parents, get it together. Those that are doing the old school way, congrats to you. But those that are just depending on the school system and depending on the government to help, to, to, um, to, to, um, to, to have your child success, succeed, it's not going to work. You have to put in the work as a parent. That's all I'm saying. I'm going to have a part two and um, probably later today and talk about teacher, the teacher side. If you like this video, like, subscribe, favorite, view, share, comment. Give me some more ideas for another video and I'll get back with you 
later.